Hello, Mega Grange here. Welcome to Bayonetta 2. Uh, I will, uh, first of all, um, I'm not starting a completely new file. Um, I am using an old file that I've gone through second climax through. You know, so normal mode. And I am just going back to do third climax because if I started with third climax, my life would be miserable. Because I won't have upgrades and I will hate everything. So, to avoid that, I went through the game once. And now I'm going through it again, but in third climax. So, but with the missions, I will still be doing it in order, obviously, and everything. And uh, try to show off everything I can show off. So, um, without further ado, let's start the game with the first mission, which is called The End. Let's start. In the universe, light and dark, where perceptions, where perceptions is reality. So just like the first game, oh, I am her for some reason. Anyway, ju just like the first game, uh, there is a narration with a uh, epic scene that you're fighting on the platform and you're killing things. I uh, I think my costume is her for some reason. I hope it's not, and this is just the beginning being weird. But anyway, we are still fighting things. I do have a different item than what you normally start off with. Usually, you just have two guns. You know, well, the set of guns on your feet is the set of guns on your hands. Uh, classic Bayonetta style. But, uh, yeah, I have a uh, item that you can only get if you uh, almost complete the game. And then use throughout the rest of the game. It's a pretty cool item. Um... Also, these mech suits are pretty cool, which you get to actually use later in the game for uh, some more awesome killing. You know, just awesome killing. Yeah, the, uh, yeah. So yeah, there is a narration going on while we're killing things. I love the I love the fact that they actually did this. Like you, you can't die in here. There's no health bar. There's no nothing. You just gotta kind of figure out the controls, and then later they tell you the controls, which I honestly don't get why they did that. You know, you can figure out the controls here and then just play through the game. It's not its not that hard to figure out the controls. It's hitting, jumping, dodging, you know, it's all that fun stuff. It's where normal hitting, jumping buttons usually are. And, and then you got your shooting, which is why. And, and then you got these guys who, you know, fuck your shit up, you know. You got, you got all that. And now you're out of that mech suit. And now, wow, that's a thing. That is a thing. And I also, uh, I believe this scene is... Oh, dodge, dodge, dodge. Alright, this scene... Oh, God, why? Why am I... Why is this happening to me? Alright, I believe this scene is a mission in itself, but I could also be wrong. Uh, I think I am wrong, actually. There's a whole cutscene after this. And tutorial scene, I believe. Or I could be wrong. I, you know, it's, it's hard to remember the beginning of the game once you go through a whole goddamn game. I'm not saying this game is like extremely long, but you know, just with any game, it's hard to remember things. All right. And words, words are hard sometimes when you're trying to speak. Yeah, that tends to happen. Now let's watch this cutscene. Yeah, and I believe my costume is her. Damn it. Well, we're playing it through the uh, beginning of the game as a d completely different character. Normally, that's better than that saying it. Just saying.
Epic dodge. Story foreshadowing that you don't realize until later. Also, remember the end of the last game? Yeah, here, here, here's that. Here's that guy. Remember that guy? If you played the first one, I remember that guy. Now this makes me think about the ending of the game, but I'm not going to say anything because that would be spoilers and we don't want that. Loading. Yep, okay, so now let me go to the menu. Character settings. Okay, I am her. Let's change it to Bayonetta, default costume. I do have multiple costumes for Bayonetta. Got the, you know, Oberon Gedka. And then we got the, uh, the, we got Daisy. We got Link. We got Fox, McCloud. Uh, it's 10, I think it's like, what, a million halos? Or 10,000, no, not 10,000. That's too easy. Yeah, it must be a million halos. To um get that, you know, get each costume. But anyway, yeah. Now we are uh, Bayonetta. Let me just double check. Yeah, we're Bayonetta. Yes. All right. Now let's go back. Uh, how many halos do we have? We have forty-five thousand. That that's a good number. Uh. So let's go to the shop, which is called the Gates of Hell. Uh. So we're going to the gates of hell. We get to buy items. We could buy accessories. We could buy a bunch of shit. I will show that off once the screen loads. There we go. The screen loaded. Awesome. Yeah, he has multiple lines that he goes through, but they tend to repeat. So okay, we got you got the green herb lollipop and the, the mega green herb lollipop, which is us health upgrades. Purple magic and mega purple magic lollipop obviously uh, boosts up your uh, magic. Bloody Rose uh, increases your power for a limited amount of time. Mega just does it longer. And then Yellow Moon lollipop gives you uh, defense. And by defense, I mean you are invincible for a certain amount of time. Mega just has you do it for longer. Maya's Testament, if you uh, get that, I would I don't... Um, I don't recommend actually buying it, but if you find out in the world, uh, you could use it uh, on a set of enemies, and then you get a lot more halos. You get halos while you're hitting them, you know. So it's just more halos, which is uh, I forgot to mention. Halos is the currency of this game. Uh, Red hot shot, which I'm gonna buy right now. Uh, that is like a second chance if you, you know happens to lose all your health it gives you it's like a sensu bean in dragon ball z it gives you an extra chance uh witch heart uh which i don't have enough for right now it's uh increases your health and you can get um you can find pieces of a witch heart kind of like heart pieces in zelda wow there's a lot of parallels to a lot of other games and stuff with bayonetta like that's how bayonetta works it's you can make so many parallels Anyway, Witch Heart, where uh, it increases your health, and you can find uh, either four pieces of a Witch Heart in the world uh, in order to uh, also um, get more uh, health. And then Moon Pearl, uh, that increases your magic. You, f you can find pieces of Moon Pearls out in the world as well. So, 
Uh, I would get that, but I don't care enough about magic. Because really, you don't use magic. It's only used for like a... Uh... You, well, you'll see. But it, it, it's not used in a normal magic way. And then, then you got uh, all this stuff right here, which is uh, techniques that uh, I've barely bought. Um, but I could buy one now, like slashes to deployment, like pressing, uh, pushing L towards an enemy and tapping, clicking X can also be executed while holding Z, which I'm going to buy because I haven't bought that. Let's just start buying stuff and then I'll, it'll eventually happen while I'm, um, fighting so we're leaving the gates of hell like that like a boss we're loading yet again now let's go to the prologue world of chaos let's actually start our adventure you know regularly now the loading screens are like a uh, assassin's creed well before unity uh, Assassin's Creed, where you're just kind of, you know, fighting around. You could actually use all your combinations in this area, though. It's just a little practice mode, kind of, while your game is loading. Uh, you can do whatever, you know. And now here's a cutscene. Also... Cleverly putting up, um, you know, the credits within the environment, which is pretty cool. I like how they did that. Team Little Angels. Yeah. You got Yuji Shimo Murphy. There we go. You gotta say it racist to say it right. You got Hideki Kamaya. Yusuke Hashimoto. Yo, Yusuke like in uh, Yu Yu Hakusho. Totally. Also, this is the perfect game for the season because it's Christmas themed for the first and last part of it, actually. You know what I need? Some heels without guns. You don't mind if we make a quick stop, do you? Do you know what day's coming up? Here I was shopping, minding my own business, then you show up and turn me into a damn porter. Seriously, Bayonetta, you still haven't paid me back for the car. Hey, whoa! Now, now, is that any way to speak to an old friend? Besides, I did that job for you, for free, I dad. Do I really have to tell everyone how you grabbed onto my leg, sobbing like a schoolboy? This is why I can't have good things. You're some piece of work, you know that? If you weren't already lined up to go to Inferno, you'd be well on your way with all the shit you pull. Dressing up like a nun just so you can off some angels and keep the underworld happy. Hey, I'm talking to you. <coughs> uh, shit. But if it's that, I get torn limb from limb for eternity in whatever circle of Inferno you witches go to if you break the contract. Forget about it. I'd off the fucking wing bastards all damn day. Oh, hey, what the hell? <clears throat> but what the fuck you wasting your time trying to send some schmucks off to the afterlife for? <gasps> done and done. Let's go home, Enzo. Hey, wait a second. I ain't done here. If I don't get what I came for, I'm gonna be the biggest mutt in the city. And what is it that you came to fetch, my dear? Eh, real funny. I know better than to tell you a damn thing. I'll never hear the fucking end of know how to make an entrance, John. A rare sight to see you in the city. Just had something I had to look into. Cereza, you haven't felt anything strange recently. Now that you mention it, I still haven't quite figured out how a broke, bumbling wise guy managed to turn himself into a semi-respectable family man. 
Forget about it. And what's this Ceresa shit? You're about as sweet as my Nona's grappa, you know that? Some witch with amnesia goes around calling herself a weapon, and it turns out she really got stuck with a kid's nickname. That shit's rich, I tell you what. <laughs> Our friends in Paradiso are far too quiet. I'm sure you've noticed. But they aren't the only ones. Pray tell. Our friends down south seem to be a bit upset as well. And now in light of news, the annual holiday parade is being held today. City police have closed off roads to prepare for the massive influx of merrymakers expected to take in this year's festivities, set to be headlined by a flyover from the military's aerial acrobatics unit. <laughs> Get Ed and Edna's presents, or I'm gonna get it. We'll talk later. I'll see you back home. Don't forget to pick up the things for the party. What's the matter with you? I told you what I'm after. A jet. I want a toy jet. You know, the kind with wings, flies in the sky. No, I'm not buying any damned angels. Yellow, blue, I don't care what color they are. I learned my lesson with those bastards, you hear me? Just a normal damn jet, please. You hear that? I want one of those. The thing's flying in the air right now. That's the one. That's the biggest one you got in the store, right? Wrap it up nice, will you? It's a present for God's sakes. Yo! No! You know what? Screw the pretty ribbon. Just hurry up and put it in the box, will ya? try to avoid doing this in my Sunday best. <laughs> How you do it? Now we're actually entering a fight sequence, or an whatnot. If the game actually, you know, loads it, you know, that'd be, that'd be fan fuck fantastic. There we go. All right, so this is kind of a spot to uh, 
kind of practice a little bit more of your fighting skills. Easier than uh, doing it, you know, for Bayonetta 1. Unless they fixed it in the new version of Bayonetta 1. I did not actually grab that. This is actually downloaded on my Wii. Oh, that was that was quick. All right. Oh, we're getting a new set of guns, though. Watch this shite. This is why I never buy anything on sale. Didn't I say it? This is why I can't have nice things. Damn it, car! Start already. Right on time to deliver a little holiday cheer. Oh, fucking wonderful! Bro, 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 Don? But I don't believe in sin. Watch your mouth, Enzo. Don't want anyone offering you for sacrilege before you pay the tax. I'm be fucking leaveable. Ah! Shiny. Cause you know, fuck science. Now it's time to be moved. Alright, so to go a little bit more canon with this, uh let's uh Oh, they actually let you use handguns? Anyway, Love is Blue is the name of the weapon. Uh she will have that set on A and you know, on side A and side B. You could have two sets of weapons and all that. I'll make this second set into uh, what I had before. So I'm basically I'm changing uh, my hand weapon. But to go with a little bit more cannon, I'm gonna have this setup right now because uh, you can change between two setups of uh, weapons, which is pretty cool. And um, here's a screen for all your items, and you can actually gathering items throughout the world. You can also make uh, the items you can buy, uh, as long as you have the, uh, stuff for it. So let's say if I want to make this, you know, you put the items in, you do a little circly circly with the D-pad, and boom, done, purple magic lollipop. I got some purple magic lollipop stuff. I'm going to use it because I'm not going to use it at any other time. And then this also going to demonstrate that this is pretty much what the magic is used for. Stuff like that. Uh, that's about it, really, where the magic is used. Uh, unless if there's probably some kind of technique that, uh, uses it, maybe. But I haven't found anything. I haven't also bought much. And I'm also getting my shit wrecked in. Uh, the, the things to note between, uh, Bayonetta and, uh, Jean. You, you get Jean at the end of the game as a character, by the way. Oh yeah, magic is also used for torture attacks. I forgot to mention that. So, torture attacks and the, uh, like, super form thing. But Jean does not have witch time. And witch time is pretty much when you dodge at the exact, oh shit, at the exact right time, then, uh, everything slows down for a little bit, where you could, where all enemies are demobilized, and you could screw this shit up you know you know so uh which time is very useful and uh Jean does not have which time so if you use her 
uh, beware of that. So you saw that everything turned purple there. That happens one. Oh my god, I'm getting my shit wrecked in. Ah, stop it. Also, yeah, you know, I have more health than at the beginning of the game. Oh, so they do wreck their sh your shit up. So, uh, I'm actually going to use, oh, I used the mega one. Okay. Uh, you could, you could have your items preset to, uh, three buttons on a D-pad. Uh, so I got the two healing items and I have, uh, what do I have? I also have that, uh, one that gives you, uh, God, I keep on getting hit. I'm not doing as good as I should be. Especially with that hit. Anyway. The one that gives you uh, halos for killing things. Which I did not buy. Uh, this would be a perfect moment for that. Why is it... This seems harder than it should be. Let's see if I switch to this. What would happen? Oh, okay. Well... So, third climax is harder, uh, believe it or not. So, let's use this. That's what the thorn thing you, uh, for the uh, mega power is. Because uh, each weapon does have a different uh, look to it, obviously, a different way you uh, use it. And same thing with the uh, super whatever. Also, after every battle, just like in Okami. You know, another parallel. Uh, you get you get a rating, uh, depending on how good you do, damage wise and all that good stuff. This is an enemy that uh, all all these enemies are reoccurring, where you could uh, where you fight them again, and then boom, get fucked. See, I'm I'm using the second setup because I usually never use the katana or the other thing. So I'm just not gonna have them set because I usually don't use them. I'd rather use you mainly the main weapons. Uh, and apparently I'm I'm just doing shitty this time around. I would not use this many items. I'm also on third climax, so this is gonna be a little harder. And that's why I decided to go through the game before I even try third climax. But you know. It happens. I don't know what happens, but it happens. And then I could level up my character even more. And, uh, get shit done. And, yeah, fall off. Nope, alright. I totally dodged that. Uh, but apparently, not quick enough. Oh, that was epic. Get Bane raped in the face hole. And cutscene. Uh, some, yeah, th this game, it, it's pretty crazy. It's off the wall, and I like it. Hey, John. Squid, did you get everything? I forgot the caviar. You think they're still open? Probably not. So remember that for your Christmas parties later this month. It is not Christmas without caviar. Remember to get your caviar. Bayonetta said it. Oh yeah, you, you can pick up health items throughout the game. Where you could either... You, you could pick up the lollipops. Or you could just pick up leaves. Which pretty much... Instant, like... It's like picking up uh, coins or something in Mario. It's just health right there. And let's punish him. Yeah, you get uh, bonuses for like punishes and torture attacks and other stuff. Or climaxes. If you repeatedly hit the button. Whatever they say. You get more halos for that. It's pretty cool. Also, uh, if anybody remembers me the, me uh, the me mechanic from Bayonetta 1 where uh, you, you press the... Uh, Dodge button twice, like repeatedly, to turn to the uh, Okami Wolf. It, it's that's just an obvious parallel. Um, then uh, you would stick to that, 
in this game, if you hit it and then you hit dodge again, you automatically get out of it. You, you don't have to run around like an asshole like you would do in the first game. I hope they did fix that in the uh, remake that they did with this. Same controls, because it... I got super mad at Bayonetta because they started... Because it was not as fluid as it should be in the first Bayonetta, like when it was originally made. Uh, but now, the combat system does feel better in this one. I ran out of items. Let's use the Climax so I can just not die. And... Why is he invincible? The fuck? That was... Okay, that was, that was just glitched. That was glitched. Did I mention that was glitched? Ah, uh, now I have to do the battle again. So, let's... Actually, halfway through the battle, kind of. Actually, no. This this part of the battle. That's what I'm saying. Uh, oh, dodge that like a boss. Boop, boop, boop. You got that boom, boom, pow. Uh, I'm not going to sing that song anymore. Oh, that was an epic dodge. With which time. Which time is very... Like, I try as hard as possible to get which time to work. Because it, it's very helpful. It's... Like, you don't even know how helpful it is. It is a little easier to do it in this game than in Bayonetta 1, at least I feel like. Uh, so, you have to have perfect timing. Or when I originally played Bayonetta 1, my timing was shite. I don't know, nor care. Let's just get this guy. Let's not glitch the game this time. And hope that... I'm pretty sure it's a cutscene that we probably had to activate that... Didn't get activated because I somehow fucked the programming. Oh, let's get the climax going. There we go. See, I, I don't know what happened last time. That was just weird. But this climax is awesome. Oh, but now I just realized what's going to happen. Okay, well, let, 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 let's, let's watch this. He's dead. Let's keep on pressing Y like a boss. Oh, so much bonus. Get that bonus. A boner bonus. A bonus of boners. A boner bonuses. All right. Now, uh, this next part. Remember in the first game where you only fought enemy creatures? Now you're uh, you're gonna be fighting uh, hellish creatures in this game as well. So twice the amount of creatures. It's like a Kingdom Hearts 2 where they introduce nobodies, kind of like that. Also, that that's also a thing that just happened. Yeah, uh, we also have segments like this where you could, uh, fly and, uh, all that. Uh, this boss battle was actually pretty hard. Um, and I used all my items earlier, so I really have to not fuck up. Because that would be wonderfully nice. Uh, so not getting hit is a thing. And activating witch time is even better. Also, when you activate Witch Time, you do get... Your magic does increase faster. Which is pretty nice. Or at least it seems like it does. I'm going to punch him in the mouth. Use this again. Because I should. He's knocked out. Let's punish him. Which damages him a lot. Especially if you get max bonus. At least I would like to think so. He's destroying that building like a boss. Let's shoot him a little bit, punch him up a little bit. This is a lot easier than I remember it being. Or I could just, I could be wrong in that aspect too. Oh, God. Okay, this is where it gets uh, confusing. And Like, when should I hit him? When do I get hit? Okay, that part was a little obvious. So was that. Okay, I might have just been remembering this battle wrong. It was harder the first time I played it. Maybe because I 
Good. I, I I was a little rusty of Bayonetta. Also, I played Bayonetta on the PS3 when it first came out. Uh, so it's a little different. Oh, oh, I dodged that. I thought I didn't dodge that. Wow, I am destroying his shit right now. I am pushing it in. His shit is getting pushed in. Hardcore. Like, you don't even know. Like, he's not going to be able to shit for a week because it's going to be clogged up. Also, he's going to be dead. But, uh... Oh! Okay, I thought I died out. I was going to be like, what the fuck? But, no, I, I'm okay. I'm perfectly okay. Dodge like a boss. Fire is non-existent in slow time, apparently. So even though his mouth was still open for that fire. Oh, I don't think I've ever done this punish before. Or I might have. No, I, I have. Never mind. And, uh, climax time. Or not. What's going on? Climax. There we go. He just had to be in position for that. That looks epic as hell. And... Oh, I did not get max bonus on that because I wasn't aware that it was going to be a spinny one. And boosh. That is death. See, good thing this one is on my side. Damn. My guns are glowing. But she is not. We got gold! And a boss bonus. Wow, that was a good boss bonus. Lumen Sage. <coughs> is revenge not all you desire? I know the one who destroyed your world. I know the one who destroyed your love. Who? It's so weird playing this game again, knowing the story. Because then you know all the secrets that they have. Dead witches get dragged to hell. It is what it is. Jean's gonna wander Inferno suffering for eternity. Dims the brakes. I didn't ask you to tell me what I already know, Rodan. Especially if you're going to be flip about it. You know better than that. You're not the kind to let that sort of summon go out of control, Bayonetta. Something's up. The balance of powers that keep things in check don't feel right, does it? You know, she's pretty hot for a dead chick. <laughs> you wasn't a big fan of her shit when she was in the realm of the living. But looking at her now? Nah, still not a fan. She's not dead, Enzo. She's right, Enzo. You're only really dead after your soul's been completely absorbed into another realm of the Trinity. But that's just a matter of time. Because I don't see no way of saving a soul. Lost in hell. What about the gates? The real gates of hell. I can't stop you from trying to use them, but I don't think you got a chance down there. I'll see what I can do about putting her on ice for a while. You need this the heart of an Umbra witch. The magic that keep your kind alive in this world for eternities. Should keep her body in this realm stable, but you'll need to reunite this with her soul if you're gonna try and bring her back. I figure you got about a day before it's game over. Enzo, you've got a jet, right? What? No! No, 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 no! I do not! No! Listen! I appreciate the situation, but you know what today is? My kids got cookies baked for me at home. They're waiting for me. And I still got a place Santa tonight. Let the real Santa take care of the presents. Now let's go. 
Hey, I said I believe, but Ed and Edna, you can't put one over on those two little fuckers, let me tell you. <laughs> hey, let go, let go of me. Why do I always get wrapped up in this shit? And that was the world of chaos. Uh, we actually get a uh, final report. I got bronze, uh, even though that doesn't make sense because I got two golds and a bronze. Just like in school, it doesn't make fucking sense. You get two A's and an F, and your grades an F. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I, I still have sour feelings about high school, even though I'm not in it anymore. But. Total halos, 29,000. That's a good amount of halos. And halos is obviously supposed to look like Sonic Rings because it's Sega. And this game likes to uh, show off parodies of uh, that. And uh, also that character in the uh, bronze trophy uh, we will meet later in the next episode. Because this episode has been running on long enough. And we go to the next chapter which is not... Tune the city of Genesis, like the Sega Genesis. Ah, uh, 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 no, all right. Well, um, that's my cue to be um, ending this episode. So if you like this episode, thumbs up. If you want to see more from me, subscribe. And till next time, Mega Crage.